Hi everyone, welcome to this yin yoga class to help you cope with uncertainty. Now we all face uncertainty in every single day of our lives, but there are certainly times when our circumstances mean that this uncertainty we're facing becomes overwhelming. If you don't know yin yoga, it's a practice of surrendering and it's a practice of letting go. And once we get into this feeling of surrender in the body, we can start to work into surrender internally, mentally and emotionally, giving over to what is. And it's within that surrender to what is that we find some level of control and some level of peace. And maybe just putting this another way, when we can't control our circumstances, the one thing we can control is how we deal with and how we react to our circumstances. As always, this practice is totally suitable for those of you that are beginners to yin yoga. We do use props in yin, so please pause the video if you need to and grab yourself a blanket and just a couple of cushions. If you do have extras like blocks and bolsters, grab them too, um, but they're not necessary. Just blanket and cushions will be enough. So we are going to begin with an opening shavasana, very important to take. So I'm gonna ask you to lay down onto your back, maybe supporting under the backs of the knees with a cushion, which is more supportive for the lower back, maybe supporting the back of the head with a cushion, taking away any clips, anything that might dig into the back of the head. So allowing the arms to relax down to the floor, maybe the arms come slightly away from the body and the palms face up. The body is allowed to relax here, so you can start to let go, allow your body to become heavy, softening the hands, the fingers, letting the shoulders relax back into the floor behind you. The feet come wide, the feet are parted. The feet are allowed to relax and flop to the sides, the thighs and hips are soft. And you feel ready and able to allow your eyes to close, softening as you do the muscles around the eyes, across the forehead. Softening jaw, tongue, throat. Breathing in and out through the nose, as long as that's comfortable. And as you breathe in, allow your belly to rise. And then as you breathe out, allow your belly to fall. Breathing in, belly will rise. Breathing out, belly falls. If you've never tried breathing in this way, feel free to take your hands up to your belly. Breathing into the belly, feeling that belly rise. Breathing out, feeling that belly fall. This is a calming, grounding breath. Breathe all the way down into the belly rather than breathing up in the chest. I want you to take a deeper breath in through your nose slowly all the way up to the top, letting the belly rise and then the chest expand. And then chest fall, belly fall. Try that a couple more times. Breathing in, belly will rise first, then chest expands. Chest falls, belly falls. Try 
Try that in your own time, one or two more times. And just relaxing back to normal breathing. So relax your chest, your lungs. Don't force a larger breath. Just let your breath be whatever length, whatever speed it wants to be. So it's a free breath. It's a relaxed breath. I know if it's comfortable for you, please do still allow that belly to rise and fall. As you breathe in, belly will rise. As you breathe out, belly will fall. And you can use this throughout your practice, breathing down into the belly to ground and calm. Now I want to ask you to connect with your body. We wanna move through a mindful practice. So let's just become aware that we can feel the feeling of the body itself. a little scan around, pick up on the feeling of all of the different parts of your body and just stay there for a little while, letting this feeling of the body occur to you more and more, let it become louder, more apparent over time. There's nothing else you need to give your attention to now other than the feeling of the body for a little while. You may start to sense tension or gripping within the body. And so each time that you breathe out as that belly falls, just invite your body to soften a little. Breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. This is very slow, very gradual. The body is invited and allowed to begin to let go. Just breath by breath. Just take a few more moments here, just getting into this rhythm of breathing out and letting go. And know if you're new to this practice that when we're in our postures, we'll be moving through the postures in this way. So connecting with the body, breathing out and letting go. times of uncertainty, it's normal and understandable that we want so desperately to be able to control our circumstances once more, to find answers, to find pathways out of our circumstances, to want to control our circumstances, to want to force things to happen. And this very yang-like, very controlling, trying kind of energy can create a lot of gripping and tension physically. So as we move through our postures today, working with the body in this way can be incredibly helpful in softening our energy and releasing our grip a little bit. So just a few more breaths. Try to maintain that contact with your body, so the awareness of the feeling of your own body. Breathing out, letting go. Take 
One more deep breath in, Betty rises first. And as you breathe out, move your fingers and toes just a little. Waking the body slowly, maybe pointing and flexing the toes. Taking your hands together, taking your arms up above you, taking your feet together, stretching from the fingertips through the arms, through the body, through the legs, all the way down to the toes, enjoying a nice stretch out and the feeling of that through the body. Rolling over slowly onto your right side and just support your head and your cushion, or you may just rest into your arm. Just take a couple of breaths here and ground your attention again with your body. So just feel that it's there. Feel the feeling of your own body. Breath is still coming and going. Maybe we can still take that breath all the way down into the belly. And we'll press the palm into the floor and come up to a seated position, ready for our first posture. Okay, so take your legs straight out in front of you, straight down your mat. We're coming into caterpillar pose. We're going to relax the body forwards. So sitting up tall first though, letting your crown reach up towards the ceiling. We need to lean forwards with that length through your spine and then begin to relax in. So you can really take your time, slowly rounding the spine, dropping the head. So you're relaxing more and more giving the weight of the body forwards. Neck becomes soft as you relax the weight of the head forwards. Shoulders relax, even the thighs, the hips, everything is allowed to relax here. Breathing out, letting go, allowing your body to let go slowly and gradually into the posture. Now, if you're feeling way too much stretch along the backs of the legs or the back of the body, place a cushion under the backs of the legs. That little bend may be enough, or you may place two cushions underneath for a bigger bend. The bigger the bend, the more gentle the posture becomes. In a yin yoga pose, we're looking for this middle ground in terms of the amount of stretch that we get. Not too little, not too much. So placing the cushions under the backs of the legs is great if the posture starts to go away from a nice stretch and it starts to go into pain, anything sharp or aggressive. Another option is to stack your cushions in front of you and rest into cushions. And this is if the, as you relax your neck, the weight of the head is really quite heavy. So it can be way too much for the neck muscles or somewhere around the upper back and shoulders can feel something a little bit too sharp or strained. You can combine those two options I've showed you, having one cushion under the backs of the knees and then one on top of the knees or shins to rest your head into. Now as you close your eyes here, become aware of your own body once more. So not a picture of your body, you're not imagining, imagining it. You are closing your eyes and allowing yourself to sense and feel the feeling of your own body. This isn't a mind exercise, this is a feeling exercise. We need to start to get a little curious here as you Feel into the body and you feel around into the different areas of your body, picking up on the areas where you may be gripping or tensing. And each time you breathe out, invite your body to become a little bit more soft, to let go just a little bit. And there's no rush, so it can be in just tiny amounts each time. So breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. It's slow. 
gradual surrender. Letting go more and more over time. Becoming heavy. And becoming soft. breathe out the more you let go you don't need to be doing or trying in any way you don't need to be keeping on top of anything or making anything happen or figuring anything out All you need to do in this moment is just simply be here and breathe and invite your body to let go. Breathing out, letting go. Taking a few more breaths here. Slowly, slowly. Walking the hands back in, taking the body back to an upright position. Taking your shoulders up, back and around just a couple of times. Going backwards and then going forwards. Okay. So we need a little bit of movement in between our yin postures. So resting back onto your hands and dropping your knees here, just from side to side a couple of times. And maybe close your eyes, maybe just Rather than going out into the world and your mind and your attention going out into the room around you, maybe keep them closed, maybe stay with that feeling of your own body, stay in your own little bubble on your yoga mat, enjoying the sensations that come up as you move, keeping the breath smooth through the nose, coming down into the belly as you breathe. I'm going to invite you to take your chest up high now, arch your back, drop your head behind you for a moment and just breathe here. You can feel really nice to take some deeper breaths into the chest, lift your chest a little higher, draw your shoulder blades together. In and out through the nose. A little bit of activity there in between is nice. And then we're gonna come into another yin yoga posture called butterfly. So for this one, take your feet close in, take your knees out to the sides, soles of the feet come together. There's a little gap between the sitting bones and the heels. So you can play around with bringing your heels in closer or further away today and just see where it feels you know, juicy and just right for you. 
please do support under the legs with cushions if your hips get anything that's too sharp or painful. Stretch is fine, you know, that kind of dull, achy, stretchy feeling that we can just quite easily put up with and breathe into and let go into. But if it's crossing the line into sharp, painful, you're tensing, you can't wait to get out, that's when you need to support. So under here, this can also support the knees if the knees get anything a little bit too strong there. Let's sit up tall to begin with and leaning forwards before we allow the spine to round and the head to lower. So same thing, but slightly different position. Relaxing that neck once more, dropping that head forwards. Softening the shoulders, hands can be up onto the feet. They can be out in front of you. Some people even really enjoy taking arms under legs. Just as long as you're not gripping or pulling, the arms are soft, the hands and fingers soft, the shoulders soft. The chest and belly is relaxing, the neck is relaxing as the head falls forwards. Every single time you breathe out, allow your body to let go a little bit more than the breath before. And if you need to support your head and neck in this position, take your elbows into your lower part of your legs and rest your head into your hands. You can stack whatever you have in front of you, whether that's a couple of cushions or you may have blocks as well to stack on top and you can make a little ledge to rest your head into. Some of you may just have one block up onto your feet. So there's really no right or wrong. There's many ways to adjust these postures. Use your props you have, whether that's just a couple of cushions or whether it's more. Use whatever you have in a way that feels just right for your own body. Breathing out and letting go. Close your eyes. And when we're in these uncertain times in our lives, our minds get extra busy. We lean on our mental activity more than usual because understandably we are trying to figure it all out. We're trying to find a way through. So I just wanna invite you to close your eyes and whatever subject, whatever may be going through that mind right now, just, just be brave enough to let it fall away. Whatever it is, no matter how promising it is, no matter how much that mind may be promising you an answer or control or distraction or whatever, whatever it may be enticing you with, be brave enough to let that noise fall away. mind may come back in we just let it in we don't try and stop it or control it we just let it come back and then we let it go again so we let it come we let it go whenever we can when we've breathed out we've allowed that mind to fall away when we have that space in between the thoughts, we can just gently bring our attention back to our body, sitting with the feeling of our own body. The feeling of your own body is your point of focus, your anchor. Sit with your body, feel into your body. Notice, take in details, sensations, experiences, take it all in. Feel it, notice it. Without the need to add anything with the mind. So 
So we're breathing out and letting go. We're either letting go physically or we're letting go of some kind of mental effort. Letting go mentally. Last few breaths. Let the face be soft across the forehead, around the eyes. The cheeks, the lips, the jaw. The tongue, the throat. Slowly walking your hands back in, taking your body to an upright position, taking your knees back to centre, this time shrug your shoulders up as you breathe in, and down, pull them down as you breathe out. One more, breathe in, and out as you breathe out. Good. So move now in whatever way feels good. You might want to just stretch out for a minute. You might want to take the same sort of windshield wiper type movements. Keep your breath coming down into the belly. So breathing in, belly will rise. Stay soft, stay present with your body. So just feeling, noticing your sensations. Closing the eyes also helps. When you do that, you'll often become aware of just how your body wants you to move. Okay, so laying down onto your back, ready for our next posture, which is a reclined twist. Arms come out to the side, knees come in towards the chest. Knees slowly make their way down to the right hand side. So if this feels fine, stay where you are. Just take your head to look over the left shoulder, maybe drawing the left shoulder down. You can take your right hand up onto that knee to just kind of keep things in place, but don't grip, don't push. Be as soft as you can. You can take a cushion and you can place that cushion underneath the knees. And this is a more gentle version of the posture. You can also place a cushion in between the knees if it's just your top leg that feels like it needs some support. So try to find a position that feels just right for you again. So another thing you might want to do is just place a blanket under the left shoulder if that feels strained in any way. You might even want a cushion or a rolled blanket under the arch of the neck for support. If any of you feel that you need something a little bit deeper, take your left leg that's on top here, take it up over the top and tuck it under the bottom leg. Okay, so I'll show you that one more time. So the top leg goes up over the top, tucks under the bottom leg. This is a deeper version of this posture if you feel that you need it. And some people are just perfect in this posture, but just with a cushion or a blanket under the knee. So again, don't let anyone else tell you what to do with your body. You know best, you know what feels right. Okay, 
Okay, so closing the eyes once more. Connecting with the feeling of your own body. Even still, even now, the breath can make its way down into the belly. Breathing in, belly will rise gently. Breathing out, body is allowed to let go. Softening, rigidity. Softening tension. And just really allowing this practice, this moment, to be as it is. So there's no fighting against. There's no resistance to anything. We're just giving over to what is. And in our practice, there'll be enjoyable experiences and uncomfortable experiences. And our practice on the mat in yin is to surrender to that, to allow what comes to come, to allow what stays to stay, and to allow what goes to go. So there's no resistance. We allow and welcome whatever arrives in the moment. We give over to it completely. So there may be a sensation in the body that feels a little challenging in some way or Maybe your body's not doing what you want it to do. Maybe your mind's not behaving in the way you want it to. Maybe it's coming up with fearful thoughts or it's just being busier than you want it to be. So even when we encounter these, these little challenges, these things that we want to be another way, we even allow those. We're surrendering completely to the moment. We're just totally allowing it to be whatever it's going to be. There's no fight. There's no resistance. And the actual act of and feeling of surrender gives us relief because actually a lot of the time we're suffering because we're resisting. And the act of surrender feels like relief. Giving over to what is. Breathing out, letting go. Effort falls away. Resistance falls away. Trying falls away. Striving or rigidity falls away. And we just keep softening. We just keep letting go into into the posture, into the moment.
We'll take a few more breaths here. Is there any way or anywhere in your body that feels ready to let go? To soften even now? So if you were in twisted roots, straighten your bottom leg, take the other leg back on top. And drawing the knees back to center. We do feel fragile, we do feel stiff when we come out of a yin posture. So just take these moments in between. Maybe you wanna hug your knees in towards your chest. Maybe you wanna rock your knees from side to side. Breath is moving through the nose still. And we're finding softness even now in the shoulders a little bit or in the face somewhere, wherever it may be, wherever those little pockets of gripping or tension work their way back in, just staying soft. Maybe you wanna stretch your legs up for a moment. Come to the other side. So we're gonna take our knees in towards our chest, take our knees down to the left, and we'll either take just this normal position or we'll take twisted roots for a deeper version. Just see if there's room for that right shoulder to make its way down towards the floor. Again, you can support under knees or in between knees with cushions. You can support under the arch of the neck with a blanket rolled behind the neck or the blanket can support under the shoulder just folded under the shoulder face is soft eyes closed body is allowed to soften is allowed to give itself over to the posture breathing through the nose down into the belly We start with the body in yoga. We find our softness. We find our surrender. We move away from the gripping and the doing physically first. When you can feel that feeling of softness, softening, releasing, relaxing, giving over to the posture. You can allow this to kind of seep into your attitude, seep into your energy. You can soften your mental activity, your trying in your mind. And you can soften your doing, your striving. Cease to try to find any answers. You give up the need to control. You just let the moment be as it is. You may remember at the beginning I mentioned that when times are uncertain for us, which can be really scary, one thing we can control if we can't control our circumstances is the way we react. So there's nothing we can physically do to change our circumstances. We do have the power to allow them, to accept them, to give over to them. fallen into a busy mind, a frantic mind, when there's too much mental doing, there's too much trying to control and we're 
fearful, we're stressed, we're tense, we're suffering. Those are the moments to soften, those are the moments to surrender, to give over to what is. And in a sense, when you practice this, you always, always have control. You have control over your approach. And I want to just become a little bit more quiet now, let you close your eyes, let you be with your body and just simply practice this art of breathing out, letting go, finding softness, finding surrender, giving over to what is. Dropping fight, dropping control. job is to continue to breathe out and find little ways to let go, little ways to surrender. few more breaths here. Take your head back to centre. Take your legs back to their original position. One on top of the other. If you was in twisted roots, use the stomach muscles to rock those knees back to centre. Hug those knees in towards the chest and just release any stiffness, any uh, strong sensations from around the lower back and hips. Staying soft even now, even as we move. So this has been very focused on and more of an emotional issue today, but the physical practice of yin yoga allows us to reach deep into the deep tissues of the body and that's why it can feel a little bit fragile and uncomfortable on the way out because we've had a very deep stretch but don't worry it's certainly not any harm or any damage being done. So we're going to end with a very open and receptive posture. Coming into a supported fish pose so taking your cushion behind you placing it behind you and as you lay back over your cushion 
You just want that kind of in the middle of your back. Taking the head down to the floor and you can just have your legs straight here or you can have your legs bent, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Arms are out to the side. Now this is quite a thin cushion. This is quite gentle. So maybe today you're more gentle and you just take this version. And please don't, you know, constantly max yourself out in terms of sensation. If you're going through a lot emotionally, especially in times of fear, in times of heightened stress and uncertainty, sometimes the more gentle versions are far more nurturing. You want to feel safe in your posture. You want to feel able to let go. And then having said that, if you do feel that you, your back could use something a little bit more challenging, you could place another cushion or a rolled blanket and just stack what you have behind you. So you can see this is a fairly deep back bend now, arms out to the sides. Maybe you bend your knees. If you want to take your arms up higher, you'll stretch and open your chest a little bit more. Hands and arms and palms and fingers are soft. So if our version of the posture is so harsh that we can't let go, then we've come a little bit too deep. We want to find something a little bit more gentle. Maybe a cushion and a rolled blanket would be that middle ground today. So close the eyes, be with the body. Breathe and give over to what is. If your mind comes in, let it come in. Don't fight. Just breathe out and let it fall away again. If your body starts to tense again, don't judge. Just soften and let go once more. So each time we breathe out, we just allow our bodies, our minds to let go. Same with our emotions. If a particular emotion waves in, just let it be there. You don't need to fight it. You don't need to control it. It's okay to feel uncomfortable emotions. Just as it's okay to feel the good ones, the comfortable ones. Let it all be there. In our lives, we are going to come up against comfortable wanted stuff and the uncomfortable unwanted stuff. There's going to be, whether we like it or not, a percentage of both. We need to learn to give over to those times too, to give them space, to allow them to be there. So not try to fight and control every inch of it. And I promise you, because I've been practicing this for a long time, when you do give over to some of that unwanted stuff, you do end up finding relief. Fighting against what is is suffering. It causes our suffering. It's uncomfortable in and of itself. And when we put down the fight, when we soften our energy, when we give over to what is, there is relief. So the surrender itself feels better than the fight. You can breathe out. You can let go. You can allow. You can soften.
you can, put in less effort. Taking just a few more breaths here, letting go just a little bit deeper before we end the posture. And taking our feet close in, bending the knees, pressing the feet into the floor, just gently, gently lifting the hips a little. Tilting the pelvis upwards and then down. Maybe you go between that a couple of times. And you can either just walk your hands behind you, use your stomach muscles to lift straight up. But do be slow, please be very slow coming out of this. Or roll to your side, put your hand into the floor. This is the safest way and come out. Little bit by little bit, your lower back will feel fragile. So, just want you to bend your knees here. Just lay over your knees. You may not be able to do that completely, and it may take a few moments to let go into that. We feel that deep compression through the spine, through the lower back. Shoulders stay soft. Okay, so we're going to take our Shavasana, laying down onto the back. Cushion can come under the backs of the legs or under the back of the head. Arms relaxed down to the sides, but slightly away from the body, eyes closed. And there's just nothing to do now. Breathe through the nose and just Allow your body to continue to give its weight over to the floor. Breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. I'm gonna become quiet now for Shavasana. I'm gonna leave you time and space and I'll tell you when it's time to move again. I urge you not to skip the most important part. Closing the eyes and just being. Not having a single thing that you need to do for the next few minutes.
Okay, so taking a deeper breath in through the nose, all the way up to the very top and out through the mouth this time. Take another one, deep breath in. And out. Taking the feet and hands together. Taking your arms up above you, stretching from fingertips to toes. Rolling over onto your right side. Pressing into your palm, coming up to a seated position. Closing the eyes for a moment, sit tall, soften the shoulders, rest the palms into thighs or knees. Face is soft, just breathe, just be here. Just lingering for a moment longer in effortlessness and allowing. No striving, no pushing. Taking the palms together at heart center, dropping your head to your fingertips and just bowing gently. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed with the little bell next to it so that you're notified when my weekly videos go up. Lastly guys, always so happy to hear from you, so pop a little comment below. I love chatting back and forth and hearing about all of your experiences. And other than that, just wanna say I hope you have a lovely evening or a lovely day and I hope to see you back again soon.